reference this, rewatch this video, save this video, share this video with anybody you think it can help, and utilize this diagram when you are brainstorming your next business, when you're thinking about growing your existing business. And I think that this is a blueprint that you can use not just to make seven figures, to make six figures, to make your first five figures, right? So whatever your goal is, I think that this is a blueprint that can you that you can use at whatever level you're trying to get to. You can use this blueprint to get your first sale. What's up, hustlers? This is your boy JTL. is back in with another video. I like to show growth on my channel, so we talked about flipping a lot of different things on this channel. Did you know that there is a huge group of people who create businesses, scale them up to seven figures, that's a million dollars, and then their goal is to sell those businesses at a multiple so that they can cash out? Like many of you, you might say, if I build a business up, to making a million dollars or more per year, why don't I just keep the business? Well, the business can honestly not really be that good of a business. It can be over leveraged with a lot of debt um, and have very small profit margins, or it can be a highly profitable business. The amount of money that you can cash it in for is more advantageous to you than retaining the headache of running that business. So that being said, let's talk about how to build a million dollar business that's sellable. Yo, yo, shout out to JT Hustles for teaching people how to become entrepreneurs on YouTube and all over social media. Continue the good work, my brother, JT Hustles. <laughs> hey, welcome to the video. My name is Ryan Daniel Moran. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you through our strategy that we use to build seven figure businesses that we can sell. And if you clicked on this video or you clicked on an ad that led you to this video, it means that you're probably one of three types of people. It means that you're either an internet entrepreneur, which means you've got some other business that is paying for your bills or starting to, to grow or really successful in some other area, but you don't feel like you can sell it because you're the face of the business, you're a one or two person show, and you don't have anything really that you can scale or sell. We're gonna fix that in this video. The second type of person that this is for is an e-commerce entrepreneur, somebody who is selling a physical product on Shopify or Amazon, and you've hit a certain ceiling. You might be selling products successfully, but the profit margins that you want aren't there, and therefore you don't have the capital to reinvest into something that you can scale or sell and you feel stuck and so you're looking for a way to break out of that we're gonna fix that in this video as well the third type of person that will really benefit from this is the influencer the some someone who has an audience somebody who has a following a blog that's really responsive someone like that might be selling other people's products to make an income or they have some of their own digital products okay but they don't have anything that is tangible that they can sell to someone else and even if they could sell their blog or the business that they have they have to go with it and now they have to work for somebody else we're going to solve all of these challenges in this video because i'm going to share with you the strategy that we use when we are putting together projects that are seven figure businesses that you can sell i have done this in my own businesses so i've had companies that had very limited investments very small audiences grow to eight figures and then sell for eight figures and then I have a, a collection of students that I've helped do this as well I think our most successful exit is around 60 million dollars and it was oh, uh, this made a little show they started 60 from scratch, million. and they grew that over time by using some of the strategies that I'm going to show you in this video and then a whole bunch of other entrepreneurs who have built seven figure businesses or built businesses that they sold for seven figures and a handful of eight figure exits as well. So where we really specialize is helping entrepreneurs who are already in motion, who have some other business or have an audience or have a product that they're selling successfully, get to that point where they're a healthy seven figure business that they can sell. Okay. Now the reason that most entrepreneurs get stuck is because all of us who are small teams or one or two person shows specialize in one of three areas. And to have something that scales or sells, we need all three of those areas to come together. So the three areas that we focus on, uh, the first is product. 
And I'm going to make this really simple. I've kind of popularized this simple math equation that shows that if you have four products that sell 25 sales a day, that's 100 sales a day. And if you've got an average price point of about $25 to $35, we'll call it $30, then that is a million dollar business, right? This is basic math, third grade math. Now, what types of products do we specialize in? We specialize in physical products. The reason why we build physical products Hold on. Businesses is because Hold on. quick to mark. I got a South Carolina education. We got to run that back. I got to catch this. All right. Simple math equation that shows that if you have four products. Got that part. Four products. All right. That sell. 25 sales a day. Okay. That's 100 sales a day. And if you've got an average price point of about $25 to $35, we'll call it $30, then that is a million dollar business, right? This is basic math, third grade math. All right. So I wasn't tripping. Yes, that is basic math, but um, what threw me off is how casually he made it seem to get 100 sales a day, um, which is not impossible. However, I do want to kind of add some clarity, and he might touch on it as well. And so you guys know that I pride myself in being a practitioner, and that is possible, but what I want to clarify, and he might reiterate this in a minute, is that if you're a brand new business owner, you need to have the right target audience. You need to have conducted split tests so you know what marketing ad set is gonna convert the highest. And this is not gonna happen overnight. You need to have a quality product or service, even if you're selling a low ticket item. People always like to have that feeling that they're getting a little bit more than what they're paying for. Now, over time, you can always raise prices, simple supply and demand, and adjust your prices as your value increases, as your brand increases, and et cetera. Now, what types of products do we specialize in? We specialize in physical products. The reason why we build physical product businesses is because they're quick to market, they're, they're predictable to scale, there's lots of funding options for physical product brands, in fact, Right now, there's a lot of old VC money going out of tech and into physical products. Uh, if you're just getting started, you can ignore all of that. But the reason we specialize in, in physical products is because they're predictable. There are easy sales channels like Amazon and Shopify. And if you've got an audience or if you have a blog or if you are specializing in some other area of internet marketing, you're good at Facebook ads or anything like that, then Taking that expertise and applying it to physical products on Amazon or Shopify is a very natural skill set for a lot of internet entrepreneurs to learn. So if you're an influencer or you've got a blog or any following at all, physical products can pop really, really quickly, especially when you partner with something like Amazon. So all we need to do is get four products at 25 sales a day, and that's about a million dollar business to start. And we, if you've got some momentum, we can do that really quickly. And by momentum, I mean like you have a following or you've done other businesses or you have a little bit of capital or you already have a product or two, we can get into that seven figure range quickly by just getting our products moving and putting them through our, our regular machine. And we can, we can dive into that all day, but what you need to know right now is that that's how we get to seven figures, by having those four core products, that 25 sales a day at 30 bucks, that's all we have to worry about to get to seven figures. To start, we're obviously gonna wanna be more of a mid seven figure business, which we will hit when we partner with these other pieces. So the second piece that we talk about. So that's the nugget, nugget one. 
four products that you can sell for at least $30 a pop. And the goal is to get up to 25 sales per item, which will total 100 sales per day. Um, that's step one, according to the blueprint. Let's keep it going. Is the whoop, is the audience. And audience is really your fancy way of saying traffic. So if you're if you've got a, a, a good background in Facebook ads, then you probably are more specialized as a, as somebody who's audience focused rather than product focused. This is your influencer. This is your blogger. This is your person with an email list. If you've got an email list of as little as five thousand, definitely ten thousand people. You've got plenty enough to do damage because all we need to do is start to plug in these products into your existing audience or traffic source and we've got a really healthy business that's profitable that we can scale very quickly. That's when this starts to get really exciting. That's a nugget right there too. So we hear a lot of people talk about how valuable an email list is, but now having somebody that has built seven figure businesses and sold them at a profit Knowing that, okay, with having an email list, a hey, 5,000 people, 10,000 people or more, right? Now, that doesn't happen overnight. That doesn't happen in one year for most people. But having that in the back of your mind that, okay, instead of chasing every dollar, say, okay, can I get 5,000 good emails, 10,000 good emails? And now I have the opportunity to pull from this customer base and have a million dollar business this year, right? So adding that to one of your milestones is, is an asset to you. And in the social media age we have today where people can put on notifications, having 5,000 or more followers on the platform should also be a goal of yours. That's JT Hustles, right? So not his blueprint, but I'm telling you, the power of social media is real. It's done a lot for me and a lot for many other people. So definitely, that's the nugget. Grow your email list. Uh, let that be one of your initial milestones as well. After you have your four products that you know can sell all day, every day for at least $30 a piece. Now, you got to start growing your audience. You either need to learn how to do paid advertisement or hire somebody that knows how to do paid advertisement. And your goal is, of course, to generate sales. But you also need to be capturing leads, building an email list to at least 5,000 people. So when we bring those two pieces together, things start to get really fun. If you're a product person and you're already selling some stuff, then all we need to do to get you moving again is start to take your existing customer base and turn them into raving fans so they'll buy products two, three, four, and on. And now we've really got some motion. So it's about bringing these two pieces together. And when we add in the third piece, we have sales channels. And this is things like Amazon, Shopify, funnels, retail. These are distribution points for our products. Now, if we only specialize in one of these, we tend to get stuck. For example, if you're an Amazon seller, you tend to specialize and know every in and out about Amazon, but you don't have the high profits that you would like. You don't have raving fans. All of your energy is going into just optimizing for the sales channel. If you're an influencer and you've got an audience and you've got lots of fans, but you don't have a way to develop more revenue or generate more profit. And so you're doing things that you don't want to do, like sponsored posts and endorsements and stuff like that, which makes you feel kind of icky and gross. And if you're a product person, then you might have the greatest thing in the whole world, but nobody's looking at it, nobody's buying it. And so the real magic is when we bring all these three pieces together. All right. Another nugget that I'm taking away from that is that um, while there are some people that are the total package, right? Don't feel bad if you're not. Build a team. Find out in which of these areas do you excel in. If it could be one, two, or all three, it can honestly be none. And you just are really good at knowing what pieces to put together and managing it. And then over time, the more you're around it, of course, you'll get better at 
all three of them, right? So don't let this discourage you at all if this is your goal, right? So I'm learning a lot here. You guys let me know in the premiere in this video or down in the comment section below. Do you feel like you're learning anything? Do you feel like this sounds like the right answer, right? Anybody out there that has a seven-figure business or bigger you know, hey, I would love to hear from you guys. Um, you know, guys know the media company that I own is valued at over uh, seven figures. However, I tell you guys, I'm not trying to build a cult following of people that just listen to whatever I say. I want to sow the seed. I want you to think for yourself, and I want you to make an educated decision. Let's keep it going. Now, if you've got your sales channel like Amazon dialed in, and you've got product, you have a predictable way to get revenue. But that doesn't mean that you're profitable, and it doesn't mean that you've got raving fans that are coming back and buying your product. If you've got just audience and product, then you've got people who will buy your stuff at higher than average price points, so you've got profit, but you're not really scalable because you don't have a sales channel to partner that with. And if you've got an audience and you've got a Shopify store, You've got some fans who might buy your t-shirts, but you don't really have a business that you can scale. The real magic is when we bring all these together, and right here, this is where we build a brand. We've got all three of these pieces. And when Hey, you guys screenshot this, reference this, rewatch this video, save this video, share this video with anybody you think it can help, and utilize this diagram when you are brainstorming your next business, when you're thinking about growing your existing business. And I think that this is a blueprint that you can use not just to make seven figures, to make six figures, to make your first five figures, right? So whatever your goal is, I think that this is a blueprint that can you that you can use at whatever level you're trying to get to. You can use this blueprint to get your first sale. Right, if you're somebody out there that has no idea how you're gonna get your first sale, so definitely a dope diagram. He has a sales channel, audience, uh, products at the bottom, and then when they intersect, has all of those labeled fans, revenue, profit, and where they all meet. That's that brand, right? All of that cohesion leads to your brand, and now you got something. All right, let's keep it going. Do that then we've got a, a really healthy business that we can scale or sell. And that's the magic of this. Uh, in this type of a business, you aren't stuck operating a business you don't like. You can sell the business, or when you do this process, the business becomes a lot more enjoyable. It grows a lot faster. It's a lot more profitable. And so you have a choice. You can either grow this business into something that you're really excited about, or you can sell it and walk away and start something else. And that option is yours when you follow this process. All right, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video right here. In my opinion, this is the blueprint for you to create a successful business that can lead to generational wealth. You can then pass this blueprint on to your kids. And I firmly believe this should be a resource that you should add to your processes and whatever business you're creating now. I'm definitely adding it to mine. I look forward to reading your comments down in the description below and in the premiere of this video. Hope you got value out of this. Smash that like button if you haven't done so already. And until next time, so I'm a hustler, stay hustling. JC Hustles, I'm gone.